Hey guys, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing some facts about eggs with you guys. First I'm going to get into why they're unhealthy for us to be eating, and then I'm going to talk about why they're unethical to be eating. So first some little bullet point facts about what eggs have in them. Around 60% of the calories in eggs are from saturated fats, which are not good for you. Just a side note, unsaturated fats are things like the fats in nuts or avocados, which are actually good fats and you should have small amounts of those every day, but saturated fats, not good. In one egg, there is around 200 milligrams of cholesterol, which is more than two times the amount of cholesterol in a Big Mac. And cholesterol is directly linked to heart disease. Those who eat the most eggs have a diabetes risk of 68%, which is very high. Just eating three eggs a week increases your diabetes risk by 39%. And a lot of the cancers associated with eating lots of eggs are colon, rectal, and prostate cancer. And just like all my other videos, all the sources I used will be linked down below so you guys can see where I found these facts from if you don't believe what I'm saying. Now, something I found is that a lot of people, when trying to be healthy and still eating eggs, they choose to only eat egg whites versus the yolk. And although that could be better in some ways, it is still very unhealthy for you if you're trying to be healthy. Just avoid eggs in general. They're not good for you. So here are some facts about egg whites. It is true that they do not contain any fat or cholesterol, which that part is a plus, but it may lead to biotin deficiency, which is vitamin H and B7. This can lead to lack of muscle tone, muscle cramps and pain, hair loss, and a lot of other things. This is because of a protein called avidin, I think that's how you pronounce it, that's in eggs that rubs off the biotin from the body. So especially for people eating egg whites compared to yolks or eggs in general, when they are working out and that's why they're trying to be healthier to gain more muscle, lose fat, all that stuff, eggs aren't gonna help you with that, especially the egg whites. Okay, so those were the main facts that I found um, about the health effects of eating eggs. So now I'm gonna get into the unethical part of how they treat egg producing chickens. Okay, so just a side note before I start talking about these other facts is that 99.9% .9 of chickens live in factory farms. So all these facts I'm naming are what is done to the chickens in factory farms. Basically all the big name brands, anything that you buy in a grocery store is basically a factory farm. Um, the only time these might not be accurate facts are if you produce your own eggs with your own chickens and don't inject them with hormones and don't make them produce so many more eggs than they naturally would. So one thing sad about just the living conditions of hens um, is that they are kept in very small cages to the point of where throughout their whole life they can't even extend their own wings. They barely have enough room to just turn around, let alone be like actual chickens, how they should be behaving and living by, you know, having a little bit of space to run and extend their wings and things like that. And then the way they kill hens after they are maybe too old to produce any more eggs or they just don't for some reason. There's a lot of ways they are killed and every single one of them is very inhumane. So I'm gonna name one that is actually illegal for pigs and cows. It's something that is not allowed for them because it is so inhumane, but for some reason it is still allowed to be done to chickens. So the first thing they do is they hang the hen upside down where they are still completely alive and conscious and then they electrocute them which stuns some of them and might make them unconscious or kill them but for a lot of the hens they're still alive and they don't get stunned. And then to make it worse, they drop them into boiling water to then drown and die. Like I said, this process is illegal for pigs and cows, um, but is still allowed for chickens, who knows why. And there are only a couple companies that actually use this method still. And one of the companies is the Butterfield Foods Company. So one excuse a lot of people make for eating different animal products is that it is the natural way of living and eating and um, although it is true, chickens in the wild produce eggs. They naturally do that. But to show you that nothing is natural about factory farming and the animal agriculture industries and how what you're actually buying in a grocery store, that a natural chicken out in the wild 
produces around 10 to 15 eggs per year. So only a small amount. In factory farms, they lay about 250 to 300 eggs per year. There's nothing natural about that. That is not the natural process that chickens go through. They are injecting them with different hormones and things like that that make them produce way more than they naturally should. So even the eggs you're eating aren't completely natural chicken eggs. They are modified drastically. And even just that on its own makes it not really good for you and makes it unethical because the chickens aren't giving consent to be producing that much and it is harmful to them and that's their sole purpose in life which I just don't think is right. So if a hen lays a fertilized egg and it is a female then that female will just be like their mom and you know be put in a very small cage where her sole purpose is to lay hundreds of eggs throughout her life until she is then killed when she can't produce anymore. And if it is a male chicken, they don't have use for the egg industry at all. They cannot be sent to the meat industry and used for chicken as food because they're not given the hormones to make them big and meaty enough to be used in meat industries because they're just small little chickens. So they are just killed. And the normal process for killing male chickens after they are just laid by a hen is they are ground up alive in large macerators. Alive. I, I don't know why they would choose that. I think a lot of industries choose the most torturous, harmful way to kill things and I just don't understand why. But yeah, that is a process that most egg industries use to kill their male chickens. Another common way to kill them is to be gassed until they eventually die, or they are put in bags or dumpsters and basically just suffocate to death. One other fact is that more than 260 million newborn chicks are killed each year just in the US. So we are breeding so many chickens into existence that 260 million of them are killed each year for no reason, not even for the meat industry because then they would be older, and this is saying that 260 million newborn chicks, meaning the chickens that are laid in the egg industry and don't have a purpose, that's, that's who's being killed. So millions and millions more chickens are actually being killed every year, but this is just the fact for literally just the egg industries and male chickens that are laid from a hen. And another thing to point out is this is not rare. This is the common, like, worldwide method of producing eggs. This is not just in a few different companies or one big name corporation. It is in literally every factory farm you could think of. Every single egg product that is on a shelf in a grocery store has used these methods to torture their chickens. And then I think this is just weird to me. Like it does not make sense that these processes have actually been approved by animal welfare corporations. Obviously the animals in these industries are not treated with respect, are not, just are not treated like they should be. Um, so I don't trust animal welfare corporations most of the time because again th that just shows how if they can approve this that all they care about is money and they actually don't care about animals. They just want their brand name to be something that seems ethical so that they'll make more money. Um, different, you know, animal welfare kind of private organizations may be great and may actually do what's right for animals, but um, a lot of them, any of them have a, that have approved egg industries, dairy industries, meat industries, they just want money and that's that's that. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. There's obviously a lot more facts about eggs that I could share, but I wanted to point out just the main things that I thought were important for people to know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And for now, I will be posting every other Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, so whatever day I post this, in two weeks I will post another video. Um, I'm hoping to eventually post every week. I was doing that a little bit in the past, but I'm about to start school and be like really busy and have work and everything. So um, I'm just gonna make it a little easier on myself and do every other week, uh, Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And yeah, if you have any video requests, please leave them down below and I'll make sure to try and get to them. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed, so I will see you next time.